I'm Brian and this is the BK Barbecue Channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. Just the other night I was at a private event over at my local dealer. They were celebrating 25 years in business, which is just amazing for a small business. They were barbecuing on all the different manufacturers of uh, grills that they sell. And they had the Weber Summit uh, charcoal grill in action. And I got to get my hands on it and take a look. And I'm just gonna give you some of my thoughts. We're gonna roll some footage here that I took of it. And this grill has been widely panned on the internet as vastly overpriced so i'm going to break this down we're going to take a look at where it compares in the market and see against a comparable grill if it really is overpriced or not so let's get started literally the the easiest comparison is to the big green egg extra large they have identical cooking surfaces at 452 square inches when you take a look at what you get from the Weber grill, I'll start off with the lid. And when you pull the lid up on the Weber Summit grill, it the lid action is just smooth, not only up, but down. So there is no actual transfer of weight in your hand when you're pulling the lid down. The spring action carries the weight of the lid the entire way until the lid closes. Since we're talking about the lid, let's go ahead and talk about the gasket. On the big green egg, the, your gasket is a felt gasket. The Weber Summit charcoal grill, it's a stainless steel gasket. Now, the next thing to look at is the, the table. So if you want to compare the the Weber Summit charcoal grill against the egg without the table, you're talking, what, $1,500 for the Summit with no table and the egg by the time you add some legs to it, because let's be honest, you're not going to set the thing on, on your deck or on the concrete. You need to at least have the legs for that. So you put those the legs on the on the egg and any of the internal accessories that you need just to match the the functionality that you get right out of the gate from the Weber with the heat diffuser you're at a comparable price now let's talk about the table the aftermarket tables that are out there some of them are made out of Trex material and they're not very sturdy I was talking with the owner and he actually has the Trex table for his big green egg and he told me that within a couple years it had to be replaced because it wasn't structurally sound and that was a $500 table but where the Weber separates itself the gas assisted electric start that's something that you just don't get on the egg to be able to just hit a button and have the the charcoal lit is just a game changer and that's where the weber summer charcoal grill really comes out ahead of anything else in a, in that price range so in the end i would say that definitely having put my hands on the grill seen it in action it really does justify the price tag and i don't believe anyone out there is going to be disappointed owning that grill so if you like this video and found it useful go ahead and give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel i'm going to be doing more videos like this uh, as we go forward and go ahead and leave a comment below if you've had an opportunity to get your hands on the weber summit charcoal grill and what your thoughts are thanks and have a good day from the weber grill I'll start off with the lid and when you pull the lid up on the Weber Summit grill, it the lid action is just smooth, not only up, but down. 
So there is no actual transfer of weight in your hand when you're pulling the lid down. The spring action carries the weight of the lid the entire way until the lid closes. Since we're talking about the lid, let's go ahead and talk about the gasket. On the big green egg, the, your gasket is a felt gasket. The Weber Summit charcoal grill, it's a stainless steel gasket. Now, the next thing to look at is the, the table. So if you wanna compare the, the Weber Summit charcoal grill against the egg without the table, you're talking, what, $1,500 for the Summit with no table and the egg, by the time you add some legs to it, because let's be honest, you're not gonna set the thing on, on your deck or on the concrete, you need to at least have the legs for that. So you put those, the legs on the, on the egg and any of the internal accessories that you need just to match the, the functionality that you get right out of the gate from the Weber with the heat diffuser, you're at a comparable price. Now, let's talk about the table. The aftermarket tables that are out there, some of them are made out of Trex material and they're not very sturdy. I was talking with the owner and he actually has the Trex table for his big green egg and he told me that within a couple years it had to be replaced because it wasn't structurally sound and that was a $500 table. But where the web look, and I'm just gonna give you some of my thoughts. We're gonna roll some footage here that I took of it. And this grill has been widely panned on the internet as vastly overpriced. So I'm gonna break this down. We're gonna take a look at where it compares in the market and see against a comparable grill if it really is overpriced or not. So let's get started. Literally, the, the easiest comparison is to the Big Green Egg Extra Large. They have identical cooking surfaces at 452 square inches. When you take a look at what you get, I'm Brian, this is the BK Barbecue Channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. Just the other night, I was at a private event over at my local dealer. They were celebrating 25 years in business, which is just amazing for a small business. They were barbecuing on all the different manufacturers of uh, grills that they sell, and they had the Weber Summit uh, charcoal grill in action, and I got to get my hands on it and take a 